Hello everyone, I'm Megaderf and welcome. As you probably remember, in the last Space Engineers video I've shown you a really awful canon design because all my efforts to build something decent had gone to waste. I received a lot of good feedback on the workshop page of that canon and I want to thank everyone who decided to comment with their opinions and thoughts about that design and what I could do to improve it. Your feedback inspired me to work on a new canon using a design that I thought couldn't work. So thanks again to you all and to this awesome community. So this is my working canon. It's full auto with a rate of fire of 18 rounds per minute and a magazine that can hold up to 11 torpedoes. The rate of fire can be easily changed, but making it too fast can cause problems. The magazine could be increased, but it would require an almost complete rebuild of the ship and it would probably cause stability problems. I painted it blue to give it some sort of camouflage. This weapon is designed for stationary targets, that means stations. I called this cannon the AGC-A11, that is an acronym for Advanced Gravity Cannon Automatic 11, where 11 is the number of the rounds it can hold in the magazine. Not really an easy name to remember, so I nicknamed it Station Buster. Before looking at the cannon, let's take a look at the projectiles it uses. This is the torpedo design I was using with the other cannon. I noticed that it's really unstable, because the mass blocks on the back are making it hit the back first. So, in the second design, I moved the bus blocks on the front part of the torpedo and I added a gyroscope to stabilize it even more. However, this version doesn't deal a lot of damage, so I tried to add more explosives. Because of the adding of volumetric explosions, all the armor was absorbing the actual explosion of the warheads, so I built a much lighter design. After that, uh, I decided to make it longer, so it could have more explosives and more blocks uh, without making them absorb the damage. I also added other mass blocks to increase its speed. Now let's take a look at the cannon. The back part of the ship is a modular piece that is meant to contain all the needed parts of a ship. This back module can be used as a starting point for every cannon or other complex ship without having to think about where to add thrusters, generators and all the other important parts. Obviously it doesn't look that great, but it's a considerable saving of time. It contains the thrusters pointing every direction in a very compact design and the only thing missing is a gravity generator, because you probably don't need it if you are using this, but it can be easily added. I may do a video about it uh, sooner or later, but I still have a few things uh, to change and improve. As you can see, this ship features a lot of heavy armor. I tried not to use too much of it, but it's needed to protect the weak spots of the cannon. The magazine is held in place by rows of pistons. As you've seen in the previous video, one row of pistons makes the cannon's wing, but these two series of pistons make the magazine almost 100% stable. I say almost, because the magazine can't stop itself from swinging up and down, so I added this gyroscope to completely stop every dangerous movement when the ship is stationary. Obviously, when it's moving, the gyroscope can have the opposite effect, making the magazine turn slower than the rest of the ship. So I added this landing gear, that works as a safety. The gyroscope must be turned off when moving, and the safety will move the magazine 100% in sync with the cannon. Naturally, if you try to shoot the cannon with the safety locked, it will stop the magazine from moving and the whole ship will start drifting first and then moving like crazy. This missile launcher you see here is used only for aiming, using its red dot. You can load it with some rockets and shoot it before the torpedoes, but it's not its main function. Since it's a bit on the right of the place where the torpedoes are launched, you'll have to aim on the right of your target. 
If we go inside the magazine, you can see that the projectiles are held in place by landing gears. I've used the blast doors to protect the base of the landing gears because they are slightly lower than the other blocks. In fact, this kind of torpedo I'm using was hitting the edge of the block in front of it, so I had to use the blast doors. Now let's go inside. What you see here is all part of the modular ship back, except for a few changes here and there. This room is not part of the modular thing and it contains the gravity generators. They are two and they are set to have a thin and long gravity field that can launch the projectiles without interfering with the ones in the magazine. I'll show you it in a moment, after I enter the cockpit. Again, this is all part of the modular ship. I just have to enable broadcasting show gravity field show on HUD and turn on here it is, this green box is the gravity field now, before either moving or shooting, you have to follow certain procedures first of all, before shooting, you have to make sure the magazine is completely closed then, you'll have to do these things. First, turn on the gyroscope on the magazine. Two, set the landing gears to have a brake force of 1 kN. Three, turn on the gravity generators. And four, really important, unlock the safety. Before moving, it's pretty much the opposite. You still have to make sure the magazine is completely closed, otherwise the safety will not lock. Then you'll have to 1. Turn off the gravity generators 2. Set the landing gears to have an infinite brake force 3. Lock the safety and 4. Turn off the gyroscope on the magazine. Also, very important, you have to turn off the gravity generators before reloading the cannon, if you don't want it to explode. Now let's fire it. Just one moment so I can change the settings back to fire mode. To fire, you just reverse the magazine pistons group. If you reverse another piston group, you'll rip apart the ship. Now let's test this cannon with some targets. Here we are. The cannon is there, aimed and ready to fire. The first target we are going to fire at is this big thing of light armor, and we'll see how many layers get damaged. To fire the cannon we just have to open the control panel, magazine pistons, 
reverse. Now, for some strange reasons, uh, the first torpedo will just disappear. Here it is. It's probably just a bug. Okay, it shoots every projectile. We can see that it damaged the... oh sorry, wrong button. It damaged the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers of light armor. In some other experiments I noticed that it can damage 8 layers, but I guess that 7 is the minimum you would expect from this weapon. Now let's try with something different. We are back, this time with some heavy armor. Magazine pistons, reverse. Here it is, the first torpedo that disappear. And uh, then they start doing damage. This time it damaged the one, two, three layers of heavy armor. Way less, but still a considerable amount. Also, heavy armor is pretty expensive, so you'll probably never have to cut through three layers of it. Now we'll experiment with some real targets. The next target is the standard red ship. It's not the ideal target because it can move. I turned off the gravity field of the ship to avoid it deviating the missiles, but we'll talk more about gravity fields in a few minutes. For now, we'll just see the damage that it does. This time, the first torpedo exploded without problems. The missiles are quickly melting into this thruster section. So, the cannon destroyed these thrusters and it reached the hidden cockpit of the ship, the one that would be probably used in a combat scenario. One more shot would have destroyed it, but a Gatling gun can easily do the job now that it's exposed. I tried to aim the cannon at a thinner part of the ship and this is a sped up version of what happened.
and we are back with the final target. The cannon is now closer to us because we are not in the same world save. The target is the standard green station. It's the ideal target because it can't move and you can aim the cannon for its weak spots. However, this station has a gravity field and it can be a problem. You'll have to aim higher to compensate the drop of the projectiles or you could also use the gravity to your advantage by shooting from above the target, using its gravity to accelerate your bullet. Aiming will probably require some practice when the target has gravity generators, but it's not that difficult. The gravity field of this station has a force of 2G, pretty high and you won't probably see a lot of stations with this kind of gravity. Therefore, the drop of the torpedoes will be much higher than usual. Now it's time to fire it. Magazine, reverse. In a few shots, it already destroyed one of the two big generators in this room. The projectiles are still going, but for some strange reasons the game is rendering only their shadow for the majority of the time. As you can see it went through many different floors, causing some heavy damage. Another torpedo would have probably passed through the station without detonating. The deviation caused by the gravity is really noticeable. In fact, I have an idea that could avoid gravity fields affecting the path of the missiles, and you'll probably see a video about it sooner or later. The shape of the station makes the cannon less damaging. In fact, it would have been much more powerful against a compact station, but this one is scattered on the surface of the asteroid, so any concentrated damage is much less serious. This is it for today's video. If you want to download this ship, you can find the link to its workshop page in the description. There you can also find the link to the blueprint of the torpedo. If you are interested in the behind the scenes of the creation of the cannon, there will be a link to some screenshots I made while building it. If you want to watch the old video about the awful cannon, you can either find it in the description or wait for the outro and click on its thumbnail. Leave a like if you enjoyed and feel free to post a comment with your feedback about anything concerning the video or the ship. This is it, I'll see you next time, bye!